Hey everyone, something I want to show you today with uh, myself and George is something that's not often seen on YouTube clips. I have looked around for them and struggled to find them. So on your, uh, when you're harness training your parrot, okay, often when they're a baby, they'll go through this really great stage where they'll let you just put it on and everything seems to be fine. You can follow it by the book, you can follow it by the video on the, um, you know, on the training videos and stuff, and everything seems to be going fine. Then suddenly, a few months down the track, your bird doesn't like the harness, and suddenly you don't know what to do. So you either stop using it altogether to give them a break, or you force it and then they get into an argument and there's biting that happens. So I'm right at the stage at the moment. Um, George has just gone through a, uh, a molt and he had um, pin feathers happening and he wasn't really keen on getting the harness on. I've persevered and oh, look, I should have shown you some of the really raw videos a lot earlier when he was really unhappy about it, but he's fairly unhappy about it right now. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually do a little bit of a demo video um, to show you how I approach it. Okay. Okay, so. George is sitting here right now, he's fairly relaxed. Um, we've already been outside today, he's had the harness on, and this is particularly when it would be a good opportunity to actually try and put it back on, because he's not gonna be keen. And sometimes you might go to a certain place where you do take it off for a while, and then you have, you have the situation where you need to put it back on. So straight up, um, I'm lifting up this thing, you can see the look in his face. Um, straight up his eye has gotten a little bit arrogant, his posture is defensive. Um, so I'm going to show you straight up, he's, he knows if he gets on me, I can't put it on him because he knows the position to get on him is on my lap. So I'm just going to show you how I work with that. Step up. Step up. He's not going to be really keen and he's hanging under my hair. Good boy. Look, the biggest thing, and a lot of you, if you have trained horses uh, naturally, you'd already know this. One of my favorite sayings from Pat Pirelli is, hurry up and wait, okay? So your whole body language has to be relaxed. You have to be really relaxed, like it's no big deal. We're just gonna put this harness on and it's no big deal. Now, one of the things I've been doing with this is I'll approach him um, really quite carefully like this straight up you can see the body language and I don't want to push him I don't want him to fall off my lap but I'm just gonna pat his nose and straight up if you look at his eye and the way his tongue is sitting that's his defensive face um, I don't know if that's across the board for all my cause but I know George and I know that's his defensive face so I'm just gonna do that really slowly and this is the same conditioning stuff you do that it shows you on the videos, um, just so that you can get them used to it. Apart from just draping it over them, if I tried to drape this over his back right now, he'd actually freak out. So I'm gonna respect him with that. Okay, again, you've already had it on. You've been pretty good. Okay. Now he seems to be really, he's still in defensive posture, but he's relaxing a lot more. Good boy. So I'm going to take my other hand and I'm just going to drape it. You can see we didn't have a good reaction there. I'm not going to race and put this on. I'm just going to sit it there a minute. I'm going to go back to the same thing. I'm going to reward him. Good boy. Now the beauty about George is he doesn't really care about food rewards. He likes, he likes his cuddles. So I'm going to do what you do when you learn teaching a horse how to wear a bridle. I'm not or a halter even. I'm not just gonna race and do it up now. I'm actually gonna go back to taking it off. So we're gonna get it off now. Yeah. Now, and I'm purposely fumbling around a little bit because I want him to be okay with it. Ah. If we're in a rush and I have to fumble, he needs to be okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before. And then I'll take it away, it's no big deal. And then I bring it back and rubbing your nose because I, if I rub your nose, I mean your beak, I can control your beak a little bit 
just be really aware, guys, of watching their body language as well. You you know your bird enough to know if he's going to strike um, or if he's really going to bite. I already know George ah. is going to whinge. Good boy. He's going to whinge, but he's not going to bite. So you need to be really aware of your bird's body language. Okay? Don't obviously put your fingers in danger if you know he's going to nip you. Okay. Good boy. So I will happily do this a few times. Okay, and I want to get it off him the easiest way possible. That's no big deal. You also need to know when to stop. So there's, there is such a thing as too much. I know his issue is around the head, so I probably won't do much more than this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on now. So I need to make sure I've got lots of strap on the left wing. Put his wing over. Okay. I'm going to tighten that up. Can you lift your other wing? Lift your other wing. Good boy. Aren't you being a good boy? And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten that. And again, I'll just check it, check under your wings, make sure none of the straps are folded over. If anything's folded over, it's very uncomfortable for him. And then, I'm not going to race off, I'm just going to relax and give him a, more of a cuddle. If I was going somewhere now and you, you were having trouble with your bird, as soon as you get that fully on, go and do an activity with him that he loves, okay? Whether it means going outside to get in the washing or water the plants, um, whether it's giving him a treat, but give it to him outside, you know, do something he enjoys because then he's getting reward and he'll start associating the harness with that. Okay, so I've already had this on. We've been outside and we've, we've been up in the trees. <laughs> Ah, you're fine. We're taking it off. Good boy. Lots of praise in between. Other wing. Other wing. Good boy. Okay, loosen it on this side. You're fine. See, at any time, guys, you've really got to you got to know your bird. This whinging could very easily turn into pretty bad biting. Um, so you need to read your bird, but you also need to persist because if you don't persist, um, see right now I'm winning the game. I'm winning this um this this defiance game. So if he whinged and I went, oh no, I can't do it. He's gonna bite me. And I stopped and I didn't do it. Um, basically, I would not be able to get a harness on this bird at all now because he'd be winning each time. Good boy. And now I'm going to get back to this, and guess what? I'm not going to put it on your head again, because you've been a good boy. Yes, you've been a good boy.